Hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for supporting my project. I wanted to introduce you to uh, Rack 2.0. Uh, this is a new rack system that I came up with while working on uh, the requests that you guys have had. This new rack system will save you guys a lot of plastic uh, and hopefully print time as well. The way this works is, is that they're modular. They print like this and once they print, you'll see these little filament holes. Uh, you put a little piece of filament in there, you line it up, put a little super glue or something and then boom, you're done. I might, I might not actually even uh, glue these. They're pretty sturdy, uh, depending on how, some of these will have a little, will be a little looser than others. Like this one's kind of loose, but uh, it really depends on your, uh, on your 3D printer. But as you can see, it's not, it's not bad. It's actually, it's not glued, so it's, it's holding pretty decently. Um, anyway, these print, you can print Vallejo, you can print uh, GW racks, and uh, I'm gonna actually come up with a tester paint rack as well. The reason why these are so cool is that they're interchangeable. So if you want to uh, have a row of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm brain farting here. If you wanna have a row of Vallejo paints or Reaper paints with um, your, your GW paints, or if you wanna, you know, get all your colors all in the same area, like, you know, Vallejo, GW, I mean, uh, um, Games Workshop, and etc. Then you can just have, you know, interchange them as, as you go. Now, uh, these are awesome, I think. Uh, just the fact that you can save a little bit of plastic makes this outstanding. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the original rack set that I came up with these are these are amazing only because I'm super lazy I just print this sucker and then uh, pull it off the bed and stick it right on the shelf plus they're crazy sturdy um, I'm gonna have this for years that you know I'll never have an issue uh, as you can see I've gone three high I got the drawers here oh and what is this my friend and this is a new addition to the family uh, so if you print a GW front, it doesn't matter what you print in the back, but if you print a GW row here in the front, or if you print the uh, Games Workshop rack right there that you see there, you will have the ability to print, I mean to uh, add a cool little shelf. And this little shelf, uh, you can pull tools in it, you can see I have my drill in there, my drill bits, and my, my, uh, my, uh, sprue cutters but what's cool is you have these little notches and the reason I have these notches are uh, while you're while you're painting you can stick your brushes on there to dry or uh, if let me see I'm gonna get this out of here I'm gonna put this back on the rack itself uh, if you have I'm not left-handed but if you were left-handed I mean you can put this on the right side but what you can do is just have them there ready to go while you're painting Right or after you're, you know, between, you know, between coats or whatever, uh, depending on the, you know, what you're painting, you can just go in there, switch a brush, paint, 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 put it back, you know, clean it off, put it back, let it dry, or get it out of the way while you're doing your next work, you know, your next project. Uh, I've actually, uh, if if you have this tray empty, you can actually tilt them and put more than one, which is kind of neat. I think you can just have them like that and then uh, work that way. Great little tray. Uh, it's probably my favorite. I don't know what it is. These little trays are just, pfft, I eat them up, you know. Plus, uh, you, you're you kind of using space that would otherwise not be used. So it will work with these modular sets and, of course, the original GW rack. So what you can do is you can print, print a GW front and then print a bunch of Vallejo uh, uh, backers and then bam you know you get yourself a nice cool little uh, tool slash you know uh, brush a caddy uh, tray and you know you can you can pull this out you can leave it on your desk while you're working leave your leave your brushes on it you know while you're while you're working and that way uh, they're accessible you know while you're painting probably not uh, the best camera angle to to show that but anyway this is 
a super cool little little thing there. Uh, another thing, you guys were really, really asking, uh, a lot of people were asking for a, um, a paintbrush holder. And guess what? I made one. Uh, it's going to be available for download uh, shortly after this video. Um, and it's going to be, um, I have, two, uh, I have two, two brush holders actually. Um, one that's part of this system, right? Uh, so you can put paints in the front and then you can have two uh, brush holders in the back. Or uh, I, I also have one big square unit like this with uh, two trays and you'll see it. it I, I'm going to I'm going to add a picture of it on this video here. But uh again there will be two trays and then on top you'll see a bunch of space for um brushes. In fact, I I would I would call that bigger unit a a brush storage unit and then the modular tray uh unit a more of a presentable place for your brushes. And the reason why I made the uh, brush a modular brush holder rack is cuz um brushes come in different sizes. You know, you got these these big monsters, you know, and then you got uh, these tiny little uh well, excuse me, this is also a, a bit of a bigger brush, but then you have smaller um Raphael and um um which and that was not a good example here Kalinsky brush series 7 so I know is this gonna okay yeah so these are these are small and so of course not all brushes are the same and uh, you may need a different brush hole size and that means that if you had something like this and if it was modular you tell me the brush hole size I, I'll bore the holes in them and then I'll just make the file available and bam you got yourself a custom rack for your brushes this is a seven minute video, man. I, I don't even know if you guys are going to stay to the end. This is awesome. I'm going to be posting it soon. If you like it, thank you. Uh, if you don't like it, well, thank you for spending time uh, watching this video. Uh, keep, keep letting me know what you think you guys might need uh, with this, with the rack system. Uh, I will, I, I know that people are asking for a paper towel dispenser. I've had a, uh, I've had people ask me for shelves. You know, I'm going to have to get creative. Uh, you know, this system, oh, you can see here, here's my current uh, airbrush holder. It's just a little tray that comes out. But um, this isn't the best shelf. It's really deep. Uh, so I got to come up with a idea of uh, how to do this and make it functional and pleasing to the eye. Remember, I'm not making some, you know, piece of furniture that you put in your workshop. And of course you can, but I'm actually, my whole purpose of this design is to uh, make it pleasing to the eye so that you can put it in your house and, uh, you know, you're not going to get in trouble from, uh, you know, either your mom or your wife or, you know, your husband or whoever might not like your hobby in the house, right? So, um... I wanted to, I wanted it to look elegant. I wanted it to look functional and uh, and neat, and so that's really the whole purpose of this project. Um, let me know, let me know what you guys think about this new paint rack system. Uh, if you like that, I'm saving you a little bit of um, um, plastic. Let me know. Um, I am going to try and build. Uh, or create a uh, a rack system for airbrushes uh, using this same system here. Um, I'm not really too sure. Hopefully, I won't. I, I kind of want it to look like this with with a needle up. Um, we'll see how it works out. In fact, it's probably going to be one level up with with paint uh, here. If you could put paint here, but anyway. Awesome. Sorry, it's such a long video. Thanks, guys. Thank you for your support. You'll get the file soon.